We have our next in-studio yes. guest, a uh, gentleman I've known for quite a few years. Welcome, Harris Golden from San Diego Pretzel Company. Well, thank you, Barry. Great. So tell us about the Pretzel Company. Uh, give us give us a little info. Yeah, I guess the first thing I can say... This if we can get Andrea away yeah. from your pretzels. Yeah, right, right. No, that so, ain't going to happen. This is my usual line. Is It's a twisted business, but we're trying to make dough. <laughs> <laughs> I've used that... Oh, too many times already. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, our one. listeners heard it for the first time, so it right, works. Right, I can get away with it now. Yeah. So, so oh, um, Harris. Okay. Mm. Right. Yes. Okay, uh, basically, mm. uh, I was an executive chef mm. for 18 years at a very uh, 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 ritzy health spa. It was, a, it was a lifestyle. It was number one in the world on Lifestyles of Rich and Famous. Wow. So that was an incredible feeling for me. And then I finally got burnt out after 18 years, do, after doing that 18 years. As you see, the, you're always keeping up with the constant food trends and diets and stuff like that. And I just couldn't look at, uh, you know, uh, running a kitchen anymore. So I decided I wanted to go into uh, a, a business and I love pretzels. I grew up in New York City and uh, I used to eat pretzels on the subway stations. And then I would go to Philly and get their pretzels, which is the Philadelphia pretzel. And I, uh, I felt, you know, if I could take the same um, idea of really – Beautiful perfection, uh, which we adhere to at Main Chance. Uh, this was the health spa, and to just come up with one product and make that, uh, and make a great pretzel, and that's what I really did, and we're still going at it 20 years from now. That's great. Um, and you know, something I just right. noticed. You know, I know you brought in a book talking about food. Yeah, right. I didn't realize that was a book that you wrote. Yeah, yeah, I read it. I wrote a few books actually. Really? Yeah, this was my last book uh, working at the Hell Spa, and it was it's full of pictures at the end. In a way, I wrote it for myself because I want to have something to always remember what I did. And of course, I had an audience, a built-in audience, to sell my books. I never really marketed too much on the outside, except, but uh, all the guests at the spa, they were, they all bought. Tons of these books. And this isn't just a book. A, this is this right. is like a, a coffee table. It was. It's a coffee yeah. table book. Coffee these, table book. And the people Absolutely who were gorgeous. there could afford to buy the book, uh, which we sold for. It was forty dollars. It's an esoteric style book, you know. Right. And um, those are the products. And the, the the back of the book has all our recipes. But anyway, uh, you know, I finally gave that all up and uh, said I'm going to do pretzels. So I we moved the whole family. My wife almost had a, you know, she got very nervous. She, uh, you know, she had uh, bowel, irritable bowel syndrome when we <laughs> went away from the constant check coming in that, you know, at the end right. of the week, we had, I brought my check home and we had four kids, one in junior high, one in, uh, one in elementary, junior high, high school, and just starting college. And yeah. we decided to move to San Diego, where we vacationed every year. That's his. Well, I love vac. I I love San Diego, and I always said to my wife, I want to live there. I just don't want to go back and forth because we were zonies. We the resort was in Arizona. Okay, right. So we decided, and we just picked up, moved, and I started this little. I rented a very small place in Ocean Beach. I had no idea what I was doing because I was not an entrepreneur. Um, it's it, it was a as I was saying, it's it's like being a chef. Being a chef is like running uh, a submarine, and you got it down pat. You know exactly how to mix, turn that submarine around, and then all of a sudden you're you're in your own business, and that's like being an admiral of a fleet, and it's a it's a different learning curve. It is, and mm -hmm. I really had to learn that learning curve quick before our funds ran out. Okay, so tell me why go from being an executive chef making, you know, these exotic dishes, all this wonderful food, and and why did it go to soft pretzels? Well, I I lo again I love soft pretzels, and also you start saying to yourself, you know, all the food products out there. I I had to stay within food. I had to do something in food, and I know you get into shrimp and uh, you know any seafood. That's a higher level of, of risk. Right. So right. I said, well, let me stay with baking something because, you know, you can't poison anybody with a, a salmonella, <laughs> you know. A you haven't been to my house. Yeah. As close as we are, okay? okay? Right. You're not cleaning <laughs> your cutting board, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. So, you know, yeah. So I felt, let me stick with something with baking. And I do, I always enjoyed the baking end of uh, of cooking. And um, so 
Uh, and then the other thing is I love pretzels, and I miss that you can't get a good pretzel for the most part. They really mm -hmm. don't make the old-style pretzels. Right. Now, I didn't start that right away because it, it really takes a, a, a higher uh, degree of uh, commitment, you might say, when you start making these uh, old world pretzels that we you find pretty much only in Germany now. Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, the, uh, the United States has abandoned making the old style pretzels. You can't find them somewhere. There are some shops in Philadelphia, and it, it's really dominated by the one huge company. Uh, it's called J and J uh, Snacks. Uh, it's the super pretzel that they sell everywhere in the United States. Right. To a great degree, they are a monopoly. Um, the guy who runs it is a, is a business genius. There's no doubt about it. I've spoken to him. Uh, he's light years ahead of me in business. But I felt my niche could be in making a very good pretzel. So I kind of like to compare them. They're the Microsoft. We're pretty much the uh, Macintosh, the Apple of the pretzel industry. But we're not like Apple is now. We're like Apple when they... First, first started off. because I really yeah. don't know what I'm doing. I'm, an, I'm not a Steve's Jobs. <laughs> Steve Jobs. Well, I'm not Jobs either, but what I am is a food lover, particularly anything from the baking. I'm really just a frustrated pastry this, chef. This would be Harris. the greatest understatement you've ever heard. Exactly. Right. I love anything baked. Yeah. And I love pretzels have been something that I've just absolutely adored since childhood. I typically could only get them once a year at the fair when the fair would come to, yeah, come to yeah. town is when I would get my pretzels. It, and that was when I would get my fix. Isn't that true? When uh, there are certain places you go, you just have to have a pretzel. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whether it's the fair, whether it's the ballpark. Right. It's, That's uh, right. Yeah. And there is nothing like this yummy the texture of this pretzel. I wish there's very few times when I wish we really had a camera on the show so people could see the texture of this pretzel from the exterior has just the right shine and glisten and just the slightest little bit of crunch, but it's so big and thick and fluffy on the inside. <laughs> it's got the right amount of salt on the exterior. <gasps> Harris. Andrea, Andrea. Lottie. Get a, get a hold of yourself, girl. Oh, Harris. She's to a great 20 years in the yeah. Oh, my goodness. And then you right. brought with you the IPA beer cheese sauce, yeah. which has just the right about a heat right. that hits you on the back end. Thanks. The texture of course who doesn't love liquid cheese right. i mean life began for me when i first tried liquid cheese and just put a straw in it oh my goodness i you would know, you know you know, you know i would debate. bathe in this cheese right. sauce yeah i'm trying to debate whether we need to invite guy fieri in here or just have you apply for his job you know what okay. let me tell you guy has never shown anybody making this kind of pretzel ever on his shows guy fieri knows about our pretzels and he chose our pretzels for a for a uh, he was buying it for it he had a foundation that it was it was to teach kids how to, in schools how to uh, run a pretzel cart, but it didn't go over. Apparently, he got more. He got involved with something else, but he actually looked all. It was his dad who did it. Well, he did a pretzel cart when he was a kid, right? That's right. He started yeah. in a pretzel cart, and then he he wanted to continue on, but. Apparently, it's well, it's a good thing he way. went into making chicken, you know, oh, fettuccine because right. he could have never mastered this. Yeah. And then you got this sweet Bavarian whole grain mustard sauce. Yeah. I mean, so there's genius, not just in the pretzel itself here is going on here, <laughs> right. but in the dips. Right. Yeah. So how did you come up with these? Well, that the mustard sauce I buy, uh, we don't make that. Oh, you don't? All right. Sorry. The, I gave you yeah, kudos. No, so. You know, we just bought a, re, we just buy a really good mustard. It's a, it's a German style mustard that a company makes uh, and he, they sell to us. And then the, the dip is just very simple. It's just getting a really good nacho cheese sauce. And um, I can give you the recipe and then you just add some IPA beer to it and that's it. And just wow. mix it up. In this case, it's Carl Strauss. We use Carl Strauss IPA beer. Yeah. Wow. And Sometimes by the way, Carl month. Strauss uh, mm -hmm. has our pretzels in their restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Great. It's, you know, I would make a sandwich. You can like yeah, like make buns out of this. Yeah, we do. Have you we you do. do? We have pretzel buns. See, that's even that greater genius. From, but you know, uh, you know, the customer basically tells you what you're going to do. You know, mm -hmm. and the customer comes to us and he said, can you make a pretzel bun? And we said, yeah, sure. You know, we'll, we'll put it together. So there's put a hot sauce, dog right. in this pretzel bun with that cheese sauce. Harris, I'm telling you. So, so where can you get the pretzels? 
Well, we sell them uh, it, it pretty much all over the country. Even I mean, we sell them through our internet. Amazon carries our, our brand of pretzels in, in eight-pack bags. Then we're also in Whole Foods, but we're only local right now. Um, you know, we're looking to expand with Whole Foods. We're too small to get into every gro grocery chain. I like Whole Foods very much, and uh, I think that seems like a good match. So we've been working with them. Uh, but then uh, we're in... Uh, various restaurants we're at the convention center uh, when they do the parties, although Mrs. Fields has a cart down there uh, with their, their own uh, type of, they have, um, you know, the cookies and uh, pretzels. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're, we sell to the convention center, the Delmar Fairgrounds. Uh, gosh, there's so many. Oh, Disneyland. We, we're actually in Disneyland, but in smaller places where J&J &J has their, the Mickey Mouse pretzels. You've seen those right. when you go to Disneyland. Yeah. Those are, you know, they're all machine made. They're respectable, we, uh, but, but they're they, not this. But they do buy our pretzels for uh, the, uh, their upscale areas. They've got bars in Disneyland that the average person doesn't even go to. And mm -hmm. we make a, yeah. a special pretzel. It's the same thing as this. It's do you have a lot of the locations on your website? Yeah. Where we, you can get them? We do have them listed, but we haven't updated them. Okay. Right. We, well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Why don't you tell our listeners uh, about your website, how they get more information on San Diego Pretzel Well, Company. yeah, they can always go to uh, San www.sandiegopretzel.com, and uh, they can see our website and get an idea of how to order. There's an online ordering. Right. Uh, and then they can always call us. We're a small company. We, we answer the phones. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, they may get. And they can always the come to my house. We'll just walk next door and come get some. Oh, they okay. can come next door to your house, right? <laughs> right. right. Follow so, the path, right? right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, we're running right. running out of time, Harris. I appreciate you being with us. I encourage everybody to go to uh, San Diego Pretzel dot com, find out more information, find out how they can either get some or maybe even uh, buy some to resell uh, in their establishment. That's right. That great. Can, that we do that, right? Great. Um, this is Close Up on San Diego Business here on KCBQ, streaming live at am1170theanswer.com. Send us a tweet at Close Up SD or just find us on Facebook. And you can always email me at Barry Diego.com. Let me know what you think. I'm your host, Barry Waxer, and we will be right back after a word from our sponsor.